Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I know this is the first time talking in a video, and I'm sorry about that. It's just there's people in my house, so I don't want to talk and interrupt them, or I don't want to be having a bunch of voices being picked up in the video also. But um, for this one, I decided to talk in. It'd be a little easier to, to explain things. But I'm going to pretty much show you how to get started with script. Now, obviously, first things first is you want to create a server, right? So, you want to go to your desktop, just create a new folder, name it whatever you want. Um, call it MC server, I don't know. Now, there's a lot of different types of servers that, like server types. You got paper, you got paper spigot, bucket, etc. I like paper. Paper is a really good one. That's just what I've always used. It just has a lot of features. It's smooth. That's what I recommend. So I'll leave links to all the websites and like everything you need to uh, download. But you can go to papermc.io. Once again, I'll leave in a link in the bio or in the description. But once you are on the website, click on paper and then the blue button here. And then now save it to your desktop. Perfect. Now, you want to put the jar file into the folder. Once you have that, you're going to want to right click, create a new text document. Don't have to name anything right now, just leave it at that. Open it up, and then I have this little script right here. I'm going to put this in the description also. You want to copy this, put it in this text document. Just like that. Now you want to make sure the names match right here. They don't. So I'm going to change this to server. Now with two E's. Server.jar. Just like that. Now the names match. Once you have that, go to file. Save as. And then click on all files right here. And then rename this to run.bat. Perfect. You can go ahead and close out of that, and then delete this file. This one's no longer needed. So now you should be left with two files, server.jar, run.bat. You're going to want to double click run.bat, and there we go. It's downloading the server. Now the EULA is going to pop up, and then I'll show you what to do with that. Just give it a minute here. And I'm also going to show you how to edit script files too, and show you how to join servers. I'm going to show you how to do everything, but just a second, it's going to pop up here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open the EULA. You can edit with any file you want, and then simply change false to true. Once you have that, save the file, and then rerun run.bat. Then it should continue on. Now, I already have Virtual Studio Code installed, but I will show you how easy it is to install. I'm going to go to Google, Virtual, oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, virtual Studio Code. Go to the first link. And then just download for Windows. Wait for it to... There you go. Now I'm not going to run it, because I already have it installed. But, once you have it installed, you wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, just about done. Perfect. Then, uh, actually not perfect yet. There we go. So then you just run this, read through everything, make sure you install it correctly, and then you should have Virtual Studio Code installed. That's a text editor that we're going to be using to edit the files. Um, perfect. Server's done too. So once your server is done loaded, Go into your Minecraft, direct connect, 
and then you want to uh, connect to the IP address localhost. You can also add it to a server localhost local server. There you go. So then you should be able to connect right there. Perfect. Logged on. You can execute commands. So if you want to op yourself, perfect. Just like that. Now, sweet, we're in the game. Works perfectly fine. Uh, go to game mode creative. Sweet. Plugins. Don't have any installed at the moment. Um, that's very simple to do. So to install script now, you just want to go to SK Unity. Just like that. Home page. And then click on the downloads at the top. And then you have all your versions here. Now I'm going to go with the latest beta version. Sometimes some of the features are unstable and won't work properly. Um, I just like the latest versions. Even if there's bugs or not, I still use them. But if you want to use a more stable version, just go 2.6. Anything in beta, beta is beta, obviously. You're prone to have some bugs, but I, I just, whatever. <laughs> so then save script to your desktop. You got SKB, favorite, by far my most favorite add-on. Same thing with that. Download that to your desktop. Uh, what else we got? We got Reflect. <clears throat> Um, what are some good ones? SKJ is a good one. Um, you just want to go through a bunch of these add-ons here. I'll leave a list of some of the add-ons I recommend that you can download. Uh, SK Dragon, Skelet, all these, these are good ones, I'll, but I'm not going to download all of them. But once you have those, um, downloaded to your desktop, go back into your server. Boom. It's a plugins folder. Simply put these into here just like that and then you're going to want to stop your server you can reload it I don't really recommend reloading your server um, especially with script some features may not load properly so just go ahead and just give your server a restart um, in the meantime I mean you can go to uh, you can go to spigot spigot is um uh, where you can download plugins. You just want to go to resources. And then there you go. All these are plugins you can install. Fast async world edit. 100 percent recommend that. Um like World Guard, Essentials, Fast Async World Edit, Vault. Um, there's a bunch of plugins I'd recommend installing right off the bat when you first create your server. Uh, I will also leave a link to the essential plugins that I feel are um, best to have installed on your server. Now you don't need them installed, but I, I highly recommend them. Um, let's see. So now server installed. Same thing with this one. Just ignore that. Um, reconnect. There we go. Back on the server. Perfect. Check plugins again. There we go. We got script, we got SKB, perfect. Now, here's where the fun begins. You want to go back into your plugins folder, boom, create a script folder. Open that, open scripts. Um, I just, I would recommend just deleting these. Really, you can look over them, they're just examples of different scripts that are pre-made for like given little tutorials. Um, I just delete them right away. And then, you want to create a new sk file right click new text document uh first dot sk go ahead and click yes nice so now you want to click on it right click and hit open and then now we're in the script so what we can do is on chat set chat Format to uh, we'll do MC scripters player colored message perfect. Now since we're editing 
the uh, file. It's really cool. Um, Virtual Studio Code has a autosave feature. I can't remember. Oh, right there. Right there, autosave. I have it turned on. So whenever you type, automatically saves. So once you have your script created, go back into Minecraft, type forward slash sk reload, and then the name of your script, which is first.sk. Um, oh, right. I don't have Vault installed, so we can't do colored message. Perfect. So then now, now that we have this, there you go. You got yourself a chat format. Um, that pretty much sums it up, really. Um, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to join the Discord. I will have the Discord server link in the description, as always. Um, like I said, every link, the uh, script here, the uh, uh, the one in here. I will have everything that you need to get started in the description. Every single thing you need. Um, but I think that about goes over everything I wanted uh, to talk about. But yeah, no, I mean, as always, thank you guys for watching, for all the support and everything you guys have given me. Um, thanks for watching, guys.